the very idea of sea trout fishing in the desert is just as sick as it gets. I mean, just, just look around. This is just plain desert. There is nothing except a couple of sheep running around some rhea birds, but it's just flat desert pampa. It's, it's a vein, really, that is pumping water into the Atlantic Ocean and it's full, full of sea trout just in the middle of the desert. A little chrome treasure for us to find. And this is why we come down here year after year after year. The most, the most fun many times here is you have uh, we have guests from all over the world. Last year I was here in March. We had nine different nationalities from nine different countries, and it's always nice when there's people from all over the world joining around the same thing. We love fly fishing, but everyone that comes here realizes quite quick that this is completely different from the most places you have ever been in. The best thing about guiding at a river system like this one. It's bringing people into the fish of their lifetime. But one thing for sure, once you got hooked on one, you got knuckle busted and smoke in your break, you know exactly why you fly for more than 20 hours down here to the southern end of uh, Patagonia Austral to get connected to these fish. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Ah, oh, chrome, baby! And each and every fish is just like a fish, like a trout on steroids. Right fresh from the sea, just incredibly strong. You fish. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> per definition, the longest sea trout river in the world, and you can ambush those fish with uh, extremely light tackle. Um, never seen that anywhere before. That you actually have the realistic chance to land uh, a fish in the upper 20 pound range. Probably the sea trout of your lifetime. 
with uh, a tiny little five weight, a tapered leader and a nymph. Sometimes at a given time on a low water conditions, that's the key to go. You have to, to fish long leaders, floating lines, small nymphs, something like that. So it's really technical. It's not like sinking lines, scratching the bottom and something like that. So you have to be look always for your angle. The angle is very important in this river here. We have a lot of fish. We have some big fish. We got a pretty decent average size of fish, but still you have to work for it. an addiction here with the sea trout that is better than anything else you can find in the fishing world. electric feeling that you get when you get that pull from a strike from a sea trout is, is, is something else, it's like a drug and I just can't get enough of it. It's like Into the Void. Like the name? Like the name. You think it fits? It fits perfectly. 